stick, stick, let it hit, hit, hit. Stick, 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 let it hit, hit, hit. Stick, 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 let it hit, hit, hit. My blicky up on the dresser. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris with a beard. And before we get into the video, I just want to wish y'all a happy new year. Uh, hopefully everyone had a great start to the year. We're officially done with 2023. I am personally glad it's over because towards the end, it was a little rough for me, but overall, I really can't complain. Um, just glad it's the new year. Um, we got the Olympics, I guess, um, happening in Paris this year. So I guess that's cool. But I'm going to be doing a product review today on Captain's Brew and Denali Scent Profiles from Sakai Beard Company. And I'm going to start with Denali. So the artwork is very simplified, nothing too flashy. And not everything has to be super, you know, sophisticated for someone to want to purchase from said company. Um, so I like the um, the simplicity in things because um, it's kind of like, you know, growing up in the 90s, things were just so much more simpler than today's technology, electronics, so on and so forth. So um, we're going to go over the ingredients real quick. We have jojoba oil, metafoam seed oil, argan oil, rosehip oil, fragrance, and essential oils. And the uh, scent profile for Denali is sandalwood, vanilla, and bergamot. So we can give this a little uh, sniffy here. So... For me, Denali, I get all three at once. I get the, the vanilla, bergamot, and sandalwood. Um, sandalwood acts more as a uh, undertone to me. It's not too strong. That uh, vanilla really mixes in with that bergamot. Honestly, I think this could be almost like a creamsicle scent, to be honest. With that bergamot and vanilla... And just that sandalwood, just, I get a, a creamsicle type scent. And I never really thought about it till I'm like, actually, you know, obviously doing this review and really just paying attention to the scent profile. I, I just now caught that. Yeah. Hmm. It's very interesting that I now just noticed this, that uh, it, it smells like creamsicle. But any hooser, I love this scent. This is like my go-to nighttime scent. Um, I have used it in uh, during the day as well. But for something that you kind of want to relax, fall asleep, you know, say you had a rough day at work or just a stressful day, putting this in your beard is very therapeutic, I believe, for a good nighttime uh you know, calming stress relief. And that's just uh, my personal opinion on how I feel um, the perfect nighttime scent. Um, obviously, you can use it during the day. But um, yeah, I've used quite a bit of that too already. Next, we have Captain's Brew. And the scent profile for this is coffee, copaiba, black pepper, rustic elastic, or yeah, excuse me, rustic Alaskan man. So uh, me and uh, the owner, Chris, from Sockeye, were actually, um, he put a reel up on his Instagram and uh, trying to figure out the uh, correct way to say copaiba. It's not copaiba, it's copaiba. So it's got that cool little twisting sound on it, and it makes you feel like, um, at least me, important and sophisticated, that uh, I'm putting something in my beard that's called copaiba. <laughs> so, um, anyways, let's get this a little sniff here. So, honestly, I think the coffee... Pepper and rustic Alaskan, or yeah, 
Alaskic. Alaskan man. Um, it's just so good. I love this scent. This is my favorite scent by them um, so far. So let's get a see that artwork there. Um, I love this. This is my favorite one that I've tried so far. I have both of these in balm as well. But um, yeah, coffee is not too strong in this for me. Um, not really sure what Copaiba is supposed to smell like, but if any of it's in there, it acts as an undertone. I can't really notice it too much. Um, but the black pepper, it, it's it's very light. Um, I think what I get most out of this scent profile is the uh, rustic Alaskan man. Finally got it right. <laughs> um. It's just so wonderful. It's like a um, his own twist on um, being that guy who's from Alaska. Bringing that Alaskan flavor, that Alaskan swag to the beard community. So I think that's what I enjoy the most about this scent profile. It's different from anything that I've ever used. And I've used a lot of stuff. Over 20 different companies, over, got 100 different scents. No one has brought out something so edgy, so uh, manly and, and um, you know, just manly, you know. just It's got an edge to it. It makes you feel like, you know, you want to go out and do something crazy and try something new. That's what I kind of get out of that rustic. Uh, Alaskan man. So um, this is my favorite by far. Um, Denali is still good, but if I'm going to slap anything in my beard every day, this is going to be it. This will be a permanent scent profile, permanent oil that I use in my lineup for uh, morning time. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have the link uh, to their website in the description. Um, I am an affiliate with this company. I don't receive any commission for it. It's just to um, save you some money if you choose to do so on checking them out. They do have a new scent on the website. I will be reviewing that um, shortly as well. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel as I do all types of content. And remember, only together we can discover beard difference Yo, bring it old school back boom bap in a trap no mumble rap where your lips just flap if you don't like it close your trap ain't no cap this beat will wake pat from his nap have graham grinding on his lap this beat snap crack a pop old school hip hop we don't stop everybody's head bop on the cream of the crop always on top like your girl's crop top when she licks that lollipop like a belly, your beat flops.